Hi there. So I'm going to make this small map today for use in RPG Maker. Starting off with a very rough template here to mark out the walkable area. Here's the painting that I'll be basing this map from. I did this a few months ago. Creating a new image in Photoshop, scaled to match the dimensions of the map in RPG Maker. I'm going to do a really rough sketch to work out some of the basic elements for the map. Keeping a general sense of which tiles are passable and which are not. This is all going to change later, so it's really only a vague suggestion to work off of. Here I'm going to work up a tonal painting, making use of this palette here on the left, uh, some warm, some cool, and some neutral grays. I find that it's useful to start right in the middle, and then carve the lights and the darks out uh, from that center neutral gray position, rather than to be working on a white or a black background. And you don't need to push this very far with detail. Okay, here I'm picking some colors from the painting to put over top of the tone layer. And once that's in place, I'll give it a, uh, a blur. Okay, here I'm applying some texture on a luminosity layer. And I'm going to use uh, levels to match up the white balance to the tonal layer underneath. So the, the blacks and the whites aren't too sharp. They need to match into that position. I'm going to speed this up as I add more textures because there's a it's, it's kind of time consuming. Alright, I'm going to load this up in RPG Maker for a moment here. Alright, back to Photoshop, and I'm going to add in some more textures. This time I'm going to use a combination of uh, lighten, darken, and luminosity layers. So it's not just adding uh, black and white texturing. Alright, so I added a lot more textures here, and rather than recording the whole process, because it very time consuming. I tried to condense it down into this sequence of images so you can see a progression of what's happening. Okay, I'm adding some some pixel art foliage now, and initially I'm just placing them around randomly with some of the more generic looking plants. As some of these clumps start to build up and accumulate, I'll try to fit them into the map better. 
So generally this means color matching and tone matching to the surrounding map, so they don't stick out too much. And I'm going to speed this up as I add more of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to load this back up in RPG Maker now, and this should be pretty much the finished version. I've got the trees on a layer above the background, so you can walk behind them. Alright, thanks for watching.